Life is about to get harder for this spoonbill heron. Environmentalists Felipe Fuentes-Sas and Juan Romero are concerned about the existence of hundreds of thousands of such water birds in the wetlands of Doñana, in the south of Spain. Because water levels are falling. It's a catastrophe for biodiversity, and this is a protected zone. Doñana has been as good as dry for two years now. It's a wetland area with no water because it's wasted, and sometimes by breaking the law. Doñana National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is surrounded by farmers who use groundwater to irrigate their strawberry, blackberry and raspberry plantations. The red parts on Felipe's map show all the plantations that have cropped up in the area since the 1980s without a license. Over a thousand illegal wells have been drilled in the middle of the forest without permission. And the authorities were negligent. Nobody stopped the uncontrolled growth. Juan wants to show us the illegal wells. He understands the situation of the farmers who've been waiting for years to be connected to an irrigation system in which water is transported to the region from distant rivers. But he thinks it's wrong for them to drill wells if they don't have permission. A war for water, a scarce resource has broken out. It's about who gets more, that's the problem. We come across a wildfire, a consequence of drought and record-breaking heat. There's an illegal well right here. It was built by circumventing the law without papers, right next to a dry riverbed that is public property. Many of these fields were planted without permission, with farmers simply turning forest or meadows into plantations. We wanted to speak to some growers, but no one wanted to speak to us. Even those with licenses refused to appear on camera. But Manuel Delgado, spokesman of the Doñana Farmers Association, agreed to talk with us. We risk getting a bad reputation if consumers are led to believe that all fruit is grown illegally. This isn't true. The Conservative People's Party in Spain has announced an amnesty for illegal cultivation, which is fueling more tension. These farmers should be punished and the land should be cleared. But the opposite is happening. They're being rewarded. After 18 years of illegal farming, they're going to get a permit? Now that the People's Party was recently elected to the Andalusian Regional Parliament with an absolute majority, Juan is worried that it will implement what it has promised. The party that's now going to govern here in Andalusia has promised to legalize everything. That's why the authorities are waiting and not prosecuting those who've broken the law. That would just create a big fuss because expectations are so high. Manuel Andres González is a deputy for the People's Party in Andalusia. He doesn't understand the criticism and says that his party wants the amnesty to ensure that all plantations are connected in future to an irrigation system. This way we'll achieve two goals. We will be regulating and we will ensure that no more groundwater is withdrawn when the Spanish government finally does its duty and builds irrigation channels. For Juan Romero, all of this is a power struggle for political and economic interests at the cost of nature. They want to grow and grow until the Doñana Nature Reserve disappears completely. We can see it. Instead of wetland, there's a steppe, a desert. Now the European Commission has intervened and has given Spain an ultimatum. There will be big fines if the nature reserve continues to be destroyed and water-intensive agriculture grows. 
this might be the last chance for this bird.